Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a beer by um, Oscar Blues out of, well, many places. I'm assuming this one came from Brevard, um, North Carolina, because they have a canning, um, a brewery and canning facility there right now. Uh, they also have a location in, I believe, Austin, Texas at the moment, and Lyons, Colorado. Um, but this is where, Lyons, Colorado is where this beer was tested. Uh, that's where they do all their experimentation come up with new beers, and anyone who's listened to the podcast, which is a Brutal Battle, um, you can search at BrutalBattle.com, all that stuff, Stitcher, iTunes, um, whatever. Um, uh, you would, If you've listened, you would know that when we went to Savor, the Savor event in D.C., which is the food and craft beer pairing event, I did a special salon, uh, salon uh, which is basically like a class with Juice Trapo, who's head brewer for Oscar Blues. And he was talking about how at that time he was working on a coffee IPA because Dale, the owner of Oscar Blues, was really wanting a coffee IPA. So lo and behold, it has come out now almost a year later. Um, so we've been pushing that on the podcast saying, be looking for it, there will be a coffee IPA at some point. Here it is, let's give it a shot. It is their hot box coffee IPA and it is 7.2% alcohol by volume, as you can see. It looks a lot like their hot box, which was the coffee porter. That was just called hot box, and it's coffee porter. So, I guess hot box is going to be their coffee series, is my guess. Let's get into this. All right. So, looks like an IPA. It's got a nice big head to it, but that's because I poured it in a more agitating way. Um, very orange, uh, pretty clear. Uh, maybe a little bit of like a chill haze to it in there. Uh, swirl it up. Wow, okay. I smell a lot of hops to it. There's coffee in there, but the coffee is under the hops. And it is like a nice roasty coffee. It smells like it's quality coffee, not crappy coffee, which we've had some on the podcast recently that those crappy coffee used. But super hoppy. I don't... I don't smell a ton of the coffee. I mainly smell hops, and it's a it smells like a Simcoe type hop because for me Simcoe has a lot of citrusiness to it, but it also has a lot of um, usually goes along. It's got like a bit of a malty sweetness going with it, which I know is from the malts, but it also has like a caramelly quality to it that kind of goes with the malty sweetness in any beer, making it seem more malty, more sweet and a little caramelly at the end, but a lot of citrus up front, which it's very orangey to me. It smells very good, but like I said, there's not a ton of coffee on the nose. Try it. So the coffee's definitely there. Same thing. It basically tastes the way it smells. There's coffee there, but the coffee is right under, well, significantly under the, um, the hops. Tons of hops up front, Tastes really nice, vibrant, citrusy with that little bit of caramelliness. There's a nice maltiness to it and some sweetness. The coffee tastes like it's a good quality coffee, very well roasted. Um, you know, for coffee IPA though, for me, I want more coffee flavor. I want it to be significantly more aggressive with the coffee. And I kind of actually want it to be the opposite of what this is, where this is lots of hops up front and then it finishes with a little bit of coffee and you get like that kind of bitter coffee finish on it and that's kind of what lingers on my tongue most. I like it the other way around. I would like a lot of coffee up front and then kind of finish with the hops. You know, have the hops being the much lesser than the coffee. But that's just a personal preference. If you like the idea of having a little bit of coffee and a good amount of hops, this would be the beer for you. Do I like it? Yes, I do. It is good. It's just not my preference for my, I guess, ideal coffee IPA. Because I've had a few others, and I've, I've been more into the tons of coffee and, and decent hops, but way more coffee. But um, this is good, and I think if you like tons of hops and then just a little bit of coffee to it, this is going to be your jam. So, uh, Juice Trapo, good job putting this together. Uh, I assume this is what you were going for. Um, Oscar Blues always does a really good job. So I can recommend the Hot Box IPA by Oscar Blues. It's nice. So anyway, everybody, thank you for checking this video out. If there are any particular beers you want me to check out, 
just let me know. I'll see what I can do. I can do it on, on podcast or I can do it on these little videos. And, uh, yeah, see what I can do. Uh, send me an email, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, thank you so much for checking this out. Go find yourself an awesome beer and keep it brutal.